Hey there, people, I'm your friend in Neighborhood. Let's play Spider-Man. Welcome you back to Thimbleweed Park. As we left off, we got Ransom as uh, a companion to our FBI agents and Franklin. So now that we are as Ransom, I'm gonna go to the hotel right away and see what happens. If there, if the uh, sheriff is going to say anything special that Ransom is around. Or maybe something special will happen as Ransom goes into the hotel. You never know. Could be headless gold panning. Well, that's what everybody says. Looks better. It looks better from this side. Ransom, what are you doing here? Walking around. What's your problem? Good question. You. We're trying to make sure all our guests feel comfortable, Abu. With that mouth, Abu, of yours, you'll frighten away our few guests. Leave now. What are you still doing here, Abu? I'm going, I'm going already. Good riddance, Abu. Well, just as I thought, can't do anything here in the hotel with Ransom. Because the Sheriff Arino doesn't Abu like him. stuff. So what can we do with Ransom? Hmm. I actually have an idea what I can do with the Ransom. Let's go meet up with the one that caused all this trouble for Ransom in the first place. Let's go meet up with the fortune teller. Maybe the news reporter has something uh, interesting to ask or tell Ransom? Ransom, what brings you here to darken my day? Finally gonna give me the scoop on your career meltdown? F you, tabloid hack. <laughs> Why the f are you so interested in my story? I think it would make a great human interest piece. People love stories about washed up former celebrities. Not to mention it gives you a chance to get back in the limelight. That's true. He will get back into the limelight if he gives an interview. Nat the Rat, done any real journalism lately? Or are you still interviewing the Pigeon Brothers about the record breaking hair clog they snaked from the diner sink? Scintillating stuff, doll. If you came here with a scoop, take a seat. If you came here to mock, don't let the door hit you on the way out. I think he would love the door to hit him on the way out. Nat the rat. Done any re or are you still interviewing the Pigeon Brothers about sit? If you came here with a if you Okay, let's see. Uh... Ah. Oh, of course. That's uh, his way of saying bye-bye. Ransom. We're finally gonna get... Okay, let's do the interview. You won't regret this. I hope I not. Doubt it. <laughs> so, Ransom, a few years ago, you seemed to be at the top of your game with a successful career. Yeah. And out of nowhere, you publicly crashed and burned, your former life suddenly a flaming wreckage. Tell our readers in your own words why your career hit the skids. A curse. Political correctness has gone beeping mad. Audience read your beeping rag of paper. Maybe people got tired of the insults. A lot of bad choices back then. No comment. Bad choices is actually a more truthful. So I'm gonna go with that. I made a lot of bad choices back then. I burned too many bridges. I let the fame go to my head and life just fell apart. The problem with building a life as an alienating is that people are happy when you fall and no one wants to help you out. I think our readers will really respond to that, Ransom. A question I would love for you to answer is, why don't you take off your makeup? Are you just a committed performer, or a performer who needs to be committed? I don't know if she can handle the truth. Maybe she can. You never know. Why don't you stop talking out of your beeping ass? <laughs> I don't need to explain my art to these uh, plebs. Or plebs, actually. It reminds me of better days. Honestly, I can't take the beeping stuff off. Honestly, I can't take the stuff off. It's not so much as a choice as it is a horrible curse. Thanks to Madame Marina, you could take a belt sander to my face and the skin would grow back with the makeup intact. Huh. Not the answer I was expecting. Let's talk about happier times now. Tell me about one of the highlights of your career. I wonder if he had any uh, highlights. Well, on the Tonight Show, yeah, that's what he always talks about. My Tonight Show appearance. I stuck it to Carson Good. Stole that show. 
Fame is all I ever cared about, sweet cheeks. Okay. I heard rumors around town that you were planning to get a line of ransom dolls made. What happened there? Oh. Yeah. That's what happened. That chuck happened. The arrogant thought my dolls were beneath him. The man had no vision. He was still clinging to his dead pillow dream. Bad-mouthing Chuck Edmund is certainly one way to get yourself attention, Ransom. Seems you have little to keep you here in Thimbleweed. Why did you stay? That actually is a very good question. Why has he been here all these years? And he, I mean, he could have gone anywhere, but he decided to stay. This people needs me and ain't so bad, I had nowhere else to go. This freak show town is a gold mine of inspiration for my act. I guess uh, it, even though it's a ransacked, uh, decrepit little town, it still needs a good clown. That rhymed, actually. I'll... Every little town is in dire need of a clown. There, poetry for the day. This hole needs me. I remind everyone what a garbage dump this town is. In time, maybe they'll get off their asses and do something about it. Yeah, I, I can see why you're so popular. So, Ransom, any big regrets? If you could go back, would you do things differently? I doubt it. Want to talk to you for beeping start, trusting the wrong peep beeping people. I got regrets just like anyone else. I regret damn near everything. I got regrets just like anyone else. Should have treated a couple of people better. Shouldn't have believed the hype. Should have savored it all more. But I think we all have regrets, no matter what path we take. We do. That's a fair point. Finally, Ransom. Do you have any big plans for the future? I uh, probably tried to get the boat dolls. Had planned on you coming back to your trailer, getting back, get it all back, gotta work hard and pay your dues. Not sure, but will probably involve a lot of groveling. Work hard. Pay your dues. Be a man, Ransom. I'm gonna work hard, pay my dues. Gotta start from the bottom of the ladder and rebuild my reputation from the rubble. It's hard work, but if I really want my life back, I gotta put my ego aside. Indeed. Well, that's admirable. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for your time. I'll let you know when the finished piece goes to print. Sure. Whatever. Oh, that was cool. An interview. Okay, Ransom. Let's go meet Madame Marina, then. You got any gluten-free donuts? No way am I going in there! She is a crazy a vengeful witch! But you could have gone and talked to her about- Have you seen my dime? No. Shut up about your dime. But you could have gone and see her, you know, talk to her about stuff. Lifting the curse and such. Ransom, what are you doing here? The Picking latest mail. issue of humongous honka honkas won't be mailed for at least another week. Damn. You, George. Can't a clown visit the post office without the third degree? Sheesh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the big top. Let's try that again. What can I do for you, Chuckles? Who doesn't like, appreciate humongous honka honkas? Let's see, uh... How do you not go postal working at this Paul. Hey! We don't use that sort of terminology around here. What are you gonna do about it? Shoot me? Job-related stress is no laughing matter for us high-level government agents. Oh, a high level. Huh, yeah. Well, when you think about it, post officers are kind of high level because they do take care of people's uh, personal items. Letters, packages... Well, that's about it, but still. It's very high-level management stuff. You think mailmen are high-level government agents? I'd say Definitely. so. Definitely. I'd say this job is the most prestigious government position of them all. You do realize you're basically a pizza delivery man. Except worse, because you never bring any pizza. Well, that just shows what you know. No, maybe if somebody ordered a big packages of frozen pizza from somewhere, you know, as food delivery. That goes through the post office. Eventually, at least. In some cases, not all of them. But, yeah, yeah. But they're not like pizza delivery people at all. I mean, they bring a, a mail daily to people. 
while if you want pizza, you don't have to uh, you don't have to order it daily unless you really love pizza. It's a lot of money on pizza if you just keep on delivering pizza. And also, it's not very healthy. Not healthy at all. Why are mailmen so great then? Good the question. whole world would fall into chaos without me and my boys in blue. The feds wouldn't get their intel, people wouldn't get their paychecks or bills. The economy would fall into chaos, people would starve. I hold people's lives in my hands every day. Mailmen are the god Hermes incarnate, Ransom. Huh? Don't you see? You're f nuts, George. I do have to agree on that. How would people starve if they don't get their mail? That's not how it works. Like, if he already did say, and I already did say, that you're not really like the pizza delivery man. You don't bring food to people. I mean, bills and paychecks, I understand, but bills is the other opposite of paychecks. But still, you really don't re need money to get food. Just go out in the, into the wild, find an apple tree or whatever tree, wherever you are, and get some real fruit from the real trees. Eat that. Not to mention hunt for meat. Just hunt animals. George is freaking nuts. Got any more of those f awful jokes? Oh, I got some doozies for you. Did you hear the one about the unstamped letter? Huh. I guess I already told you that one. Yeah, unstamped letter. You wouldn't get it. Y yeah, I got it. Lay another bad joke on me, face. Okay, you'll love this one. Why can't you mail a boomerang? Because it always returns to the sender. Huh. I guess I already told you that one. Well, he's a clown. He knows these jokes. Hey, George, you lazy f I want to pick up my package. Let me see that. Okay, one moment. Here's a slap to the face, apparently. And next time, deliver it to me in person. What do you think I pay my tax dollars for? You haven't paid your taxes in years! Who do you think sorts all outgoing mail? Well, f you. Ah, such colorful language. Such lovable character. It's addressed to me, Ransom the Clown. Trademark. Never forget the trademark. Okay, let's open the package. There's a note inside. Dear Mr. Clown, we hereby return your defective samples. The wallet seems to be made out of a rare endangered species of bird and the candy dispenser sparks whenever you use it. Please do not contact us again. What a bunch of wads. Well, if it sparks, the candy dispenser, the pest dispenser is then a lighter, not a candy dispenser. It's the official Ransom the Clown candy barfer. It's supposed to Trademark. dispense one piece of candy each time you use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead. Huh, funny. It's my sample official Ransom the Clown wallet. Trademark. I hope to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. Well, the wallet I can, I can understand, but the deadly sparks uh, of a, a candy dispenser? Okay, can I get to the map somehow from here? With any character I want? Uh, pushing M doesn't work, so I guess not. Oh well. Well, I will bring the, um, I'm gonna bring the wallet to, I think, Ray. And also, I just realized I forgot to take the speck of dust from the post office. Because I did see it on the ground. I'm gonna check also Nickel News if there's a speck of dust in there. Because he, he needs to pick the specks of dust. It's his goal in life on his to-do list. Simulweed Park guided tours? No thanks, we know and how how to get around already. Any specks of dust? Don't see any. Maybe there's some behind all this. Was there any uh, any clown things? Newspaper. I'm caught. Ah, eh, probably not. It doesn't seem to be. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. I don't wanna open it. I guess he doesn't have anything to say about it. Oh, well, at least I got the speck of dust from the post office. I'm wondering if it counts if I, since uh, Reyes has all the specks of dust on him. Maybe it counts if I give the specks of dust to Ransom? Welcome to Quickie Pal. Can I help you find anything? Well, I was looking for a speck of dust, but apparently there is none, so we're out of here. Any specks of dust here? Nope. So back to the circus we go, because that's where Ray is. And let's give ah, Fred. the wallet to her. Want a free wallet? It's just reminding me of how awful my life is now. I need to stay focused and solve this murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Murder, murder, murder. Blah, blah, blah. Always says, always the same thing. Wee. Now where's Reyes actually? Huh, still in the town hall. Oh, game paused. Oops. Hey, actually, they still uh, that's the usual Lucas Arts uh, pause icon, the snail. <laughs> bringing that back too, huh? Awesome. So M doesn't bring up map. You would think that M is for map. Uh, there must be a way of. Well, there must be a way of uh, everybody for to use the map to go quicker around. Maybe if I got more nickels, I can photocopy more of the map for everybody. I don't know. Maybe I should try that out at some point. For now, I'm just gonna give all the specks of dust. Evening, Ransom. What the f Dust? Yeah, dust. Can we talk to him? Must be fun living in a circus. Yeah, barrel of monkeys fun. Except that place smells like a barrel full of dead monkeys all the time. Well, there's a lot of rats around there. Nice talking to you. Ah. Such as Charmer. Okay, let's go give the wallet to the... Um, to the bum. So we can get the bloody wallet from him. Thimbleweed Park Guided Tours? I have a new wallet for you. Can I have your muddy one? I could use a clean wallet, thanks. Here's my old one. We'll talk later. Don't leave town. Where would I go? Anywhere. You got any loose change? You're a hobo. You can go anywhere you want. Just uh, take a little, take a hike on a on a on the, the, the train, bus. Well, not really a bus, but you, you can jump on a train. Stole away that way. Away, away, away. Hey, hey. This isn't mud on the wallet. It looks more like a blood stain. There's nothing inside. No, no money, no. It has a blood stain, but there's nothing inside it. Well, we can use the wallet in the Bloodtron. It's a match. I think it would be a match. And blood report. Bloody wallet, corpse blood, I'll put the blood on the wallet, matches the body's uh, blood. Accuracy 100%. Alright. So now we know that the identity of, uh, of the victim, and we have proven that indeed the blood is of the victim on the wallet. Really? So I'm gonna leave it here, and next time, who knows what I'm gonna do. Hopefully we're gonna get somewhere. Well, I'm gonna go to the new places that have been opened, like the radio station and whatever. 
So let's go explore those. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Thank you, people. Bye.